Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Furiously Collecting here with another video. So as you saw there in the intro here in front of you, we have the Hot Wheels Nissan 5-pack. So I was at my local grocery store the other day and just happened to see another set of this as well as the Fast and Furious 5-pack just chilling there on the shelves and I thought I'd pick it up because I had mentioned an idea in a previous video and I really want to follow through with it. And that was to wheel swap every car in this five pack. So I thought that would be a cool idea. So I'm gonna try to open this package and create as little damage as possible. I don't know if I can exacto knife or maybe like hair dryer to try to melt the adhesive, but I wanna try to open it, get all the cars out, wheel swap all the cars and then put it back together. So I am going to go see if I can get this open. And I have my handy dandy wheel swap kit here. So we are all ready to go. But before we get too deep into this, if you have not already, please hit that like button. And if you like the content, maybe consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It helps out a lot, but let's go get this baby open. And just like that, we are back. That actually was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So I ended up just taking a small flathead screwdriver. And once I kind of got it started here, I was able to kind of slowly maneuver it around and just kind of slowly wiggle it back and forth to pry it away. And I think once we get it sealed back up, I don't think you'll be able to tell at all. And I chose the non Nissan side, because this side is probably the side that most people would look at. So I want to keep this side more pristine. But just like that, we have a nice box to open up and slide these cars out. So I did unbox a set of these already, but I'll just do a quick little overview here. So we have the little Nissan Datsun pickup, which is looking really cool. I have a very cool idea for wheels on this. And then we have the awesome R32 Skyline in red with the black accents on the hood. And then we have, what one's this? This is Skyline 2000 GTX. Uh, doesn't say on this one, but this is one of the older Skylines. I think it is the 2000 uh, GTR, maybe it's just 2000 GTR, but this one in a nice purple. Then we have the Nissan Silvia. S15 or S13, S13. And I think that writing on the side says Hot Wheels in Japanese. And then we have the Datsun, I think it's the 280Z here in this kind of like Tony the Tiger livery, which is kind of funny. What is this? Oh, just the Nissan Fair Lady Z. But I am very excited to do these wheel swaps. So let's get into it. Here on the channel, I do have a full wheel swap guide that goes over the entire process, shows all the tools that I use, has links for all the tools, links for where I get my wheels. I mean, it shows me drilling everything. I mean, all the details you need, I will leave that linked down below, but I won't bore you guys with drilling and popping the rivets off and stuff of five cars in a row. Um, so I'll just kind of do that off camera and we'll do all the fun stuff like putting the wheels on and putting the cars back together on camera. But yes, the full detailed wheel swap link will be in the description. That was the most drilling I have ever done. Uh, I don't think I've wheel swapped five cars at once before. Um, and I even added a sixth. So if you remember this guy, this was the car featured in my no drill wheel swap. And we put the silver sp five spokes on it. But I actually wanted to put the black five spokes on it. So I ended up drilling it and we're going to put the black five spokes here. So this will be a little bonus, but I figure since we're in with all the Nissans, uh, I guess now is the time just to throw this guy in. So we'll be doing six wheel swaps in total. Not gonna spend a ton of time talking about this guy, but here it is. And I think that 
gold and black just look super cool. So we got them all screwed back together and he will go hang out here at 7-Eleven until we are done. So let's get this thing started here. We'll go with this old school purple skyline here. Start taking them apart. We will get out the cutters, cut open the tabs here. So here for the first little test fit on the 2000 GTR here, I think these kind of silver mesh style wheels and it has like the chrome lip and then like the knockoff center caps. I think these fit the car very well and the silver kind of matches that silver stripe going down the car and like with the knockoff uh, center hub on there, I feel like it kind of fits that like era. So I think we are going to go with these on this guy. I think this looks pretty slick. I really love this purple color that Hot Wheels does on some of these mainline cars. I think in the last year or so, they've came out with a number of cars in this purple color and just looks super nice. So that is gonna be it for him. We got him screwed back together. And like I said, in that detailed wheel swap video, I have links to all the drill bits and the screws that I use to do my wheel swaps. And next up, let's hit up old Tony the Tiger, Dotson, Fair Lady Z. So I think I already got the tabs cut here. Maybe not quite on this one. So I don't know if this has a fatter rear axle in the back or not. I think it is a standard length, or I hope it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think the rears are a little bit wider, which might be a little issue. I don't know if I want to make custom axles, but I will see what I got. Okay, so I did end up having to do some custom axles here in the rear, but I used the premium axles from Mod My Ride, which are the same ones featured in my no drill wheel swap and are pretty easy to make. So got the wheels on, let's throw the interior back on and see how she looks here with the new shoes on the Tony the Tiger Z. So did anyone else think of that when they saw this car like Tony the Tiger? Okay, we got them snapped back together. And so I just went with some kind of like deep dish looking black TE37s. So these are from Mod My Ride as well. The tires kind of have some tread on them, which looks pretty cool. And like I said, they do look kind of deep dish. And I just think the black obviously goes good with this orange and black color scheme. So there we go, two cars down. And I guess we will just move right down the line here. So now we have the Nissan Silvia S15. So I got the crazy blue windshield in there. Pretty nice. The interior does have, I guess it's supposed to be like a roll bar or something, but it just looks like a little wall back there. And we will get these wheels out. So I have some wheels for this one that I have been sitting on for a long time and I finally get to use them. So I am excited about that. We are really putting a dent in my premium wheel collection. That is for sure, but that's all right. Cause I had probably about like 50 sets of premium wheels. So I mean, we're just using five or six, so not too big of a dent, but definitely getting some use. All right, putting the final pieces together. Oh yeah, so there we go. So we have the blue six spokes TE 37s. So I figured with the blue, it's kind of more like almost a purplish base, um, but you have the blue livery on the side and like that blue tinted glass. So I thought these blue TE 37s would look pretty sweet. And I think they do. They are a little crazy, but I definitely don't mind it. So right as I was closing out that clip, I happened to see out of the corner of my eye, these red 10 spokes. I was like, man, what if we did a mix matched wheel on this? So I kind of wish they were at least the same wheel style, like having them be like both the 10 spokes or both the TE 37s, but having the mixed matched wheels is definitely kind of fits this like drifter vibe. So I don't know, you guys will have to let me know down below. I think I might just put the TEs back on, but maybe if you guys can convince me, maybe I will go with the red and blue wheels. Man, these are looking good already, but let's move on to the Datsun. So this one I was a little curious about because it has the pickup bed, 
And when I was drilling, I was like, man, I definitely want to make sure not to go too deep. So this one might be an interesting one to screw back together there. But I think this is, whoa, this is the first uh, wheel swap I've done on a pickup. So interesting little windshield there. This one's got the chrome base, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we got the stock wheels off, and I think I got some pretty hot boy wheels for this guy that are really gonna pop with that green paint and the chrome. So hopefully these fit on here. It looks like they are going to fit. Oh yeah, so we'll put the little bit interior back on. I think that's on. Now, I'm not sure how this windshield, oh, there we go, sets right in the post. And this should snap back together. Oh yeah, I like that. So these are not like gold, but I don't know how to describe this color. The camera's kind of washing it out a little bit right now. Um. I don't know. Let me look at this for a minute and we will see if I like this or not. And I think for the final decision, I think we are going to keep it. So I turned the lights down in here a little bit and I think it helped with kind of washing out this color. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think these, they just really pop on here. That is for sure. And I've had these for a while and I've been wanting to use them on something. So here we go. And last, but definitely not least, we have the Godzilla himself the R32 GTR. So for this guy, I have another set that I think might look kind of cool here, and they are not a six spoke TE37. And here we go for the reveal on the R32 GTR. So these are a six spoke, but it's kind of like a double six spoke, and then it has a red lip, which I think accents the car and its color scheme very nice. So the only thing I don't really like about black wheels on Hot Wheels cars here is they're just so, the cars themselves are so small. And when you put black wheels on, it just, you can't see any details and the uh, rims just kind of like wash out and it just looks like a black circle. And it's like hard to see the details, especially on camera. Like I think in person, it's a little easier, um, but definitely the video here doesn't do this guy justice. Here we are down on the diorama floor here to get a close up look at all of the wheel swap Nissans before we throw them back into the five pack. So I don't know, I think those gold six spokes on that Datsun are kind of growing on me. And I did leave the all blue wheels here on the S13. Like I said, if you want to see the red mix up on there, then let me know in the comments. And then here, the Tony the Tiger Nissan Z with the black TE37s and then the 2000 GTR with those silver mesh wheels. That one is looking super clean. So this definitely was the most wheel swaps I've done in one sitting. So that was like six, uh, just a lot of drilling and kind of tedious, but in the end, seeing all these cars together just looks super cool. And I can't wait to see them all back in the five pack and just see how this looks. So let's get them back in. So I started putting these back in off camera and it was actually like super satisfying. I was like, okay, I have to film this. So just seeing the cars fit right back into their nice little silhouetted slots here. One thing with the rubber tires, the cars don't like slide as well on the plastic. So it's a little tougher actually to get them back into their spots. Okay, so there they are. And I'll try to get the box back in here. Let's see if I can do this. And there we have it. The Nissan Premium 5-pack now. So man, can you imagine going in the stores and seeing this bad boy? So I'll do a quick overview here of it in the pack. The Datsun, the R32, the 2000, the S13, and the Fair Lady Z. Man, this is looking super cool. So I haven't glued it back together, 
Um, I'll probably get some hot glue and glue that back together. And this will be a sweet one to display on the wall. So you have to let me know down below what you thought of this video and which one of these five is your favorite or which one do you like the least? But I actually think that that purple old school GTR is probably my favorite. Like I said, I have just a thing for that purple color here, just with the flake, it gets heavy metallic and just looks super clean. Um, but I do like all of them. I actually kind of missed the red, the mix matched wheels on the S13. So I might have to go back to it, but overall very happy with how this Nissan five pack turned out. And that is going to do it for today's upload. So if you did enjoy, please like comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And once again, the detailed wheel swap video will be linked in the comments and yeah, Hope you enjoyed and we will catch you on the next upload. Peace.